Hey guys, it's the Mountain Man here, and welcome back to Spongebob's Truth or Square. In the last video, we started up the first level, Fun Times Jellyfishing with Patrick. And uh, in this video, we're going to continue the level and hopefully finish it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Alright, so we're in this uh, section of the level with these spinning, like, wooden cogs and these sunken ships. Uh, but before we actually head on here, as you can see, you can actually jump onto this uh, shipwreck right here. And there's some stuff to destroy and some happiness nuggets to collect, as usual. But there's actually uh, there's actually a couple things. I was going to say one thing, but there's a couple things of note here. Uh, one, the first thing is that if we there's this bigger box over here, bigger than any box we destroyed before. And if you listen closely... Well, if Spongebob would stop talking. <laughs> you see, you can hear it's like this sort of snoring almost. And if we break it, oh, it's Patrick sleeping on the job, of course. <laughs> Hint, you found Patrick sleeping. Try to find one in each level. Alright, so this is a sleeping Patrick. This is what that big pink sleeping blotch look, what, on the the scrapbook was. Uh, there's a sleeping Patrick hidden somewhere in every level, you know, minus the boss levels, of course. So there's there's uh, seven in total. And uh, finding them all will find you a reward. What is that reward? Well, I'm not telling until we find them all. So... Uh, let's destroy these things before I go to the next thing. The second thing that I want to take note of is uh, actually up this staircase of, of uh, Plankton Tiki's. There's an extra life, but not just an extra life. There's this little weird, like, propeller, floating floating propeller deal with a balloon or something on it. We can't really do anything with that right now. So we're just going to have to, you know, catalog it into our memory. Catalog it, is that the proper term? I don't know. Anyway, let's continue. Let's uh, go over here and get these happiness nuggets in these bushes here. The uh, thing to know is that, uh, obviously I demonstrated, uh, running through these little bushes right here will give you happiness nuggets. But there are little uh, stationary ones uh, that do not because they're just part of the background. Uh, if I come across one out, I'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll give a demonstration. But for now, this is a jellyfish jelly. Spongebob can slip and slide around on it with his tongue. Uh, it's not entire, entirely like from Battle for Bikini Bottom or the movie game as you're not constantly being propelled forward. You do have free movement along the uh, X and Z axis. Not the Y axis though because you cannot jump on these things. Uh, another thing to explain, these are Squibber Tiki's. They're pretty much the stone Tiki's from uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. You can't destroy them by regular means so you know, just ignore them for now. Alright, look at this section. So you got got platforms everywhere you know if there's one thing to know about me is that i love platforming man i love platforming games so this section should be a blast um there are these new enemies here these are spinner bots um they'll spin over at you and they'll get dizzy but if they spin into you they'll uh they'll deal some damage you can destroy them just the same you just want to be careful whenever they get too close another way you can destroy them is actually through this thing right here uh, this is new if we pick it up this is actually and invincibility power up, and we can just run into him and destroy him. So Spongebob becomes super happy, and I guess through the power of happiness and friendship and rainbows, we can destroy and vanquish our foes. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff to destroy around the perimeter, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Destroy this stuff. This is like a big part of a ship, you know? Got like the different like poles and stuff and like mats. There's an extra life up here. What is that? That is 14. Destroy this stuff. Go over here and destroy this stuff. This stuff. Can't destroy this. This is actually a. Uh, an object that we can use later on. We can't use it right now, so you know, just ignore it for now. That <laughs> I've been saying that a lot, haven't I? Just ignore it for now. We can't do anything with it right now. All in due time. All in due time. Right, so I think that's everything you can destroy around the perimeter. So let's actually do the objective of this section now. Uh, pretty much what we want to do is we want to get this little fist right here all the way to that glass jar in order to destroy it. 
But, uh, so let's press this. And not get smashed by it, hopefully. Alrighty, so that moves that up there. So let's hop up here and press this, and, uh, oh, almost got smashed there. Oh, you don't take damage if it smashes you in the cutscene. It's just kind of funny, you know? But, uh, alright, so let's jump across here. Destroy these. Oh, uh, you want to be careful with some of these, uh, like, uh, f smashing fists because, uh, the hitbox is a little weird. Sometimes even, because, like, obviously it'll hurt you if, if it smashes you, but sometimes just running into the side of it, like, will, will hurt you even if it's, like, down. See, this one doesn't, but, like, I, I swear, I've had it happen before, before where, I, where I just, like, touched, like, ran into the side of it whenever it was on the ground, and then I took damage, like, I was... Like, Spongebob has, like, a squashing animation where he gets, like, flattened into, like, a goop. And, uh, like, that animation played even though I just ran into the side of it, so... Oh, okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, almost got smashed there, but... So let's move on over here. Jump across here. And there's another human skeleton right there. Go across this here bridge. There's a couple spinner bots. Let's take care of them. And let's go over here and hit this switch. And that will cause the fist to come over and smash the glass jar during the jellyfish. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so that's that section. Let's continue on. Oop, there we go. And we're almost done. Almost done with this level, so... Head on down here. And if you can see this little thing right here, this looks new. Well, that's because it is when we pick it up. Whoa! Bigger muscles do more damage to baddies and objects. It's time to get buff! Don't get hit or you'll have to buff up again. Alright, so this is a new power-up. This is the sponge buff. As you can see, it makes us much stronger. We can destroy stone we can destroy those stone tiki's, the square tiki's, as well as these little wooden grates. Pretty much destroy anything at this point. Well, not anything. There is a certain tiki later on that we can't destroy, even as a, even as even even as uh, muscle bob buff pants over here. Let's go in here and destroy this stuff. This can't be good for my audio balancing. Having a weird thing where in, in OBS where like, if loud stuff is happening on the screen, like it kind of cuts into my mic audio. I don't, I'm still trying to figure out how to fix that. So let's destroy all this stuff. Go over here. This is like a, one of those little carnival games where you hit the button and then the thing goes up and hits the bell. If you're just normal Spongebob, uh, it won't go up very far, but uh, when you're buff Spongebob, it'll go up all the way and make it explode. Alright, so let's go on up here. Get these guys. Let's try not to demonstrate the whole debuffing thing whenever you get hit by an enemy. Right, so let's hit this here. And let's jump on across. You see some robots have appeared down here. Oh, you can go down here and try to destroy them. But, uh, as you can see, like, if you pay attention, uh, they're actually just going to keep spawning. So, unless you want to, like, farm for happiness nuggets, I'm... See, let's go ahead and, uh get the quadruple digits, why not? See, I'm at 995, just need five more. There we go. 998. And... 1001, nice, there we go, 1000. Quadruple digits, baby. Alright, I'm already, already halfway there to that 2000. Duel, already halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here because I'm just about out of time. So, in the next video, we're going to be uh, uh, definitely finish it, finishing up the level. So, so uh, I said hopefully we do it 
uh, this video and that didn't happen, so oh well. So I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See y'all next time. Bye bye.